Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform the 1D static structural analysis of a simply supported beam. This is the given beam. The beam is simply supported at point B and it is roller supported at point D. The material properties are given, the cross section is given. We are asked to calculate the shear force and bending moment diagrams and the maximum normal stress. Open ANSYS workbench, select static structural, drag it here. First I am going to specify the material properties. So right click on the engineering data, select edit. Here the predefined steel is structural steel. I am going to define a new material. So I am typing material and click enter. So now you can see a question mark. It means that we haven't specified the property of the material. So I'm going to specify the material as isotropic elastic. Here, I'm going to type the Young's modulus. So Young's modulus is given as 210 e power 9 and the Poisson ratio is given as 0 0.3. Now again, go to project. Next, I'm going to create the geometry. So right click on the geometry. Click new design modeler geometry. So here, I am going to draw a line between A to B and a line between B to C and a line between C and D. So totally I am going to draw three lines. The cross section and the material of the entire beam is same. So I am going to draw all the lines in the same sketch. So here we can see three planes. I am selecting XY plane. Right click on that. Select look at. I am going to sketching then choose line so first draw a horizontal line then draw another horizontal line then draw another horizontal so totally i have drawn three lines so now go to draw dimensions click the line and mark the dimensions okay. so the length of first line is 2.5 meter the second line is 3 meter and the third line is 2 meter so line 1 that is h1 is 2.5 h2 is 3 and h3 is 2 okay now i have created the lines click generate you can fit to view the overall length okay. now i'm going to convert the sketch into lines so go to concept select lines from sketches then click control and select all the three lines and click apply okay now click generate next i am going to define the cross section go to concept cross section and the cross section is rectangle of uh, size 250 mm cross 80 mm okay so the breadth is 0 0.250 meter and the height is 0 0.08 meter okay so click generate now go to line body and assign the cross section then click generate if you want to view the cross sectional view then you can go to view and select cross section solids okay now you can view the cross section now close this window next i'm going to model it right click on that click edit first i'm going to assign the material so click geometry select the line body and assign the material as the material next go to mesh right click on that and click generate mesh so now we have discretized the entire structure into small elements next i'm going to apply the boundary conditions so select static structural so if you want to view the cross section go to display and select cross section now select static structural first i am going to apply a simply support so go to supports and simply supported and select the vertex so select the second point and apply a simply support next i am going to apply a roller support at the right side edge so i am going to supports and i am choosing remote displacement okay select this vertex click apply okay 
now we have to define the displacements and the rotations so in x direction it is allowed to move freely in y direction it is arrested similarly in z direction also it is arrested similarly in rotation in x direction rotation it is fixed and the y direction rotation is fixed it is allowed to rotate in the z direction okay so now i have applied the simply support and the remote displacement next i am going to apply the force go to force and select the vertex click apply in force we have two components one is vector and another one is component i am choosing component and i am applying a negative y direction force of 20 kilo newton okay you can see the direction next again go to force and choose this vertex click apply then i am choosing components and in the negative y direction i am applying a load of 40 kilo newton okay now you can solve this Now the solution is completed. Next, I am going to insert the results. So go to solution, right click on that, select insert. I am going to extract the deformation that is directional deformation. And the direction is y direction because in y direction only I have applied the loads. Next, I am going to insert the stresses. So I have inserted beam tool. Next, I am going to insert shear force diagram so go to insert beam results and select shear movement diagram so to draw the shear movement diagram first i need to define a path so i am selecting model right click on that select insert and go to construction geometry and choose path in path we have three options so i am choosing edge okay then choose the vertex edge selection tool click control and select all the three lines okay. now click apply so now you can see a path from one to two now go to shear movement diagram and define the path then the type i want directional shear movement diagram in the y direction because in y only i have applied the loads so right click on that click evaluate all results now you can see this is the directional deformation and this is the shear force and bending movement diagram and you, you can also visualize the maximum stresses.